Welcome back guys, good to see you all again. Um, so we're going to be doing Chiron today. Uh, I actually thought there was going to be, a, well, the planet range will still continue. Um, but Chiron wanted to come through. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so it's been very interesting. Um, I had some good feedback from different people. Um, these, this planet range, if you haven't started already, just go, just scroll down on the group. Try the meditations. Just keep it two weeks apart. Uh, each planet is offering something new um, for your own personal growth, but also for, you know, for, for, for humanity, really, um, especially Chiron, as she comes through now, um, is speaking um, about sort of uh, getting people conscious and awake, getting people out of this, you know, the narrative that we've all been following quite blindly. Um, and so, obviously, these are, these are opportunities to assist each other, but also ourselves. Um, as we change our own cellular DNA and coding, obviously we affect everyone else around us. So, you know, there's a lot of energy that comes through um, and obviously creates um, a platform for, for energy and consciousness to download uh, and ground itself into the planet. Um, so we have to become the receptor cell for this consciousness and for this energy. Um, you know, and of course, if you've been watching the new Earth Alliance, um, there was going to be like great disclosures and things and all these things going on and you know they've been talking about this since the 50s and 60s anyway um, but it just brings us back to the one point that we have to change the planet ourselves you know as, as an evolving um, planet that's moving out of a, a conditioned or shall we say separation or conditioned reality um, to take sovereignty back we must become conscious of what is unconscious and of course, you know, people are starting to wake up to that. Um, it is a little bit slower than we, we would like. Um, but the, it just comes back to the original message, which was always there, um, that no one's going to save us but ourselves. Now, we can all do that by being conscious of our own reality. And of course, it all comes down to cells. So, um, you know, that's why we've spoken about Bruce Lipton and how he's sort of bridging science and spirituality, um, talking about environment and how we affect each other, our belief systems, our emotional output, and all the rest of it. So that is how we change things, okay? So these, like I said, these planets um, are offering not only uh, what they say they're offering, but they're offering a lot more because there's so much more that happens unconsciously. So just by being present with these, the meditations and these messages, um, it's helping you on a, on a sort of multi-dimensional level. Um, because there are other aspects of your our, our consciousness that are still stuck um, in, in other sort of timelines where this information isn't readily um, available. So of course we're moving into that frequency now of being able to, um, well people that are starting to awake now and are really working on themselves, I believe in this lifetime if they're in this sort of below sort of 40, 50, um, there's a, there's a great potential to have um, a very awakened um, second part of life. So that's my catch just coming. Um, so there'll be, you know, there, again, everyone's different, but the main thing is, is that we are working on our, um, our output of our emotional energy, so we're not being pulled into the same old drama, the same old story, the same old repeat of patterns. Um, and this is what spirit fundamentally trying to get wake human beings up is to, to, to take sovereignty or take responsibility for what they're putting out energetically because we have to understand that the work, you know, the planet works on, you know, like as we said before, magnetics. So, you know, everything that we are believing and creating, we are then manifesting outwardly. Um, so if you, you know, we're always being abandoned in relationships, it's not the person that's abandoning you that's the problem, it's you that's the problem because you have the abandonment issue. And it's the same if people are always denying you or abusing you or, or you, know, you know, betraying you, it's the same pattern of energy. It's our responsibility to change that pattern, not the people that are creating it with us because you always have to have a mirror. Um, and of course, you know, these, as we call negative people, are actually our greatest teachers. So it's, it's, it's fundamental that we come back to the basics of, of, of you know, universal laws. Um, and they've been hugely um, restricted 
uh, and just even in our psyche. And even when you talk to conditioned people, you know, they sort of go into a frenetic state sometimes when you mention certain things like this because the belief systems are there designed to block that information. Um, so, and I've seen, I've seen things ch happen energetically with people and a week later they've denied it because their consciousness hasn't awakened enough to be able to integrate what they saw or experienced. So the, the mind shuts it down. Um, thanks, thanks Anu, nice to see you. Um, so, you know, of course, you know, there's a lot here, but it's also, it's being simplified now. Um, and of course these planets, if you sit with them there, are gonna awaken aspects of you up that have been sort of lying dormant for a long, long time. Uh, and this, of course, is very subtle as well because you start to integrate it into your normal day to day. So you start to wake up and feel a bit different, different perceptions, different, you know, ailments and pains are going. You know, you've got new ideas, um, things, you know, don't, you know, obviously affect you as much as they did in the past, maybe, or, you know, all these types of things, or you become more sensitive. So you start to feel and become more empathetic. So, you know, everyone's different and it's going gonna, it's gonna to work through your consciousness where you need assisting. Um, and that's the beauty of, of working with this type of frequency. So I'm going to read off the message now. So this is Chiron. All right. My little cat is here. When you work with me, call upon the pure consciousness of Agate. You will witness a yellow and brown light opening in your torso. Now this can be, you can imagine that and also, but if you've got the psychic awareness or intuition, you may be able to see or sense that, but don't worry if you don't. My consciousness has reached many on your planet as a mirror for their own condemnation of themselves. And this has been effective on many levels within the human experience. However, I wish to bring forth a new and exciting way to connect. I'm feeling your despair. I acknowledge it within you. So you may access that which is trapped in your subconscious. The agate will help ground my energy in your auric fields. And it's the agate that speaks to you while you hold, embrace its consciousness. I am deep within your memory. I come forward when time reaches a certain point. Or better put, comes to a crossroads. I was very instrumental with your ancient Greeks and they developed a way to read my aura. Through this communication, they could experience all that I had experienced. This reading of my aura actually created an era of inviting non-terrestrial races to planet Earth that I had been aided and had been working with in the past. I move around more than you know. Your scientists see me on a trajectory because the male intellect, or should I say mental energy, prefers point A to point B, a linear understanding. However, my consciousness darts off in all directions and they actually orbit my own physical body, much like electrons and protons moving around an atom. So at this time, I hold the pain of the feminine energy. I mirror the wounds of the feminine within all of you. And many humans on the planet, deep, deep within their soul bodies, believe the Divine Mother has abandoned you. This is why, stereotypically, a son admires, adores his mother, because deep down he is trying to honour and remember the unconditional love of the divine feminine. The same as the daughter-father relationship, daddy's girl, because deep down she is trying to soften the masculine, to remind the human father that the feminine energy is not the enemy, and through this relationship the father can experience unconditional love something the masculine has been void for, sorry, void of for far too long. You are all trying to hold on through your attachments to things. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's your personality, a behavior, because this is why you currently have an energy crisis, the threat of World War III, institutions in threat and so on. It's a mirror because if you aren't healing these emotions on a planetary level, they will of course manifest physically to get your attention. If you are truly in alignment with consciousness, you will know it's impossible to have shortages and possible to control outcomes. Furthermore, 
change the human programming by being inquisitive. But at the moment, people still believe the narrative, and here lies the problem. Not enough people are questioning. So through me, I'll awaken as many as I can. All you need to do is hold space for 20 minutes at a time. Hold your agate, invoking my consciousness with the intention to awaken your fellow human beings. So they may question the narrative also. In turn, they will stop putting energy, hope, admiration, and even money and physical effort into those that hold you as less than. If you want to help the planet and your race, I am offering you this opportunity. You may hear about me in the news being portrayed as negative or even a danger. But this is misinformation, dear ones. I am only here in loving service to all of you. My energy, when you tune in, is one of equality. See me as such. Imagine me at your dinner table, speaking as a friend, where great minds can come together, bouncing ideas off each other, creating something new, something exciting. So, a great message. Um, obviously, you know, I've spoken many times about the Divine Feminine, and obviously this is what's coming back onto the planet now, and we are integrating our own male and female energies uh, and all the rest of it. So, this is really... Um, a time to start balancing and uh, you know we i think we said a couple of videos ago you know this year everyone's been in covid lockdown so everyone's gone outwardly again um that's all going to change obviously next year where people have all then start to realize that they're not getting what they wanted from the outside world anymore and it will turn back inwards which was you know the whole point of what's actually happening now on a more sort of spiritual level should we say um so you know this this sort of 20 minutes a day you just sit there hold the crystal and just it's because, you know, as we said, you know, channeling, everyone can be a conscious conduit for that energy, even if they're still blocked on different levels. But the thing is intention, because the intention is the foundation of all outcomes. So if we are holding that space, then consciousness can move through that physical vehicle and start to spread its energy through the planet. And this is exactly how it works, as we've said many times. So just sitting for 20 minutes, holding the agate, invoking the you know, with the intention to awaken people. Um, and this is going to stand that energy will also sit in your auric field. So wherever you travel to, you're going to be affecting everyone as well. But it also go into the earth and then the earth can use the consciousness as well. Look, they can do this thing in a click of a second. They've got, they've got technology that can clean up our atmospheres and the whole planet and water within about a couple of hours. So, you know, again, selling progressive technologies, again, is all a lie. You know, this is advanced. The most advanced technology on the planet is millions of years old. And of course, we don't get to see that. And there is talk about the med beds coming out soon, um, which are basically a lot of the elite have been using them um, for healing. Um, I believe that there is um, an MP that was looking after it and they might be making them public soon. Um, but this is going to shake up the whole medical world. It's going to come on and, and it's very low level, but well, you know, this, this technology will start to come out the cracks very, very soon. Um, and, um, obviously, you know, as we, as we, as we are shifting and changing consciousness and becoming more aware, awake of, 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 you know, the planet, um, then of course that technology will start to come in because unfortunately, when you have too much advanced stuff on the planet, but the consciousness is still too low between the collective, or depending on the race of the beings, but if it's too low, then of course the shadow energy can take over and use technology as a negative. You know, we've seen that um, many, many times. Um, but what's happening now is that a lot of this stuff is now being released as the consciousness shifts. So it's coming parallel with each other. Um, so we should see a lot of changes. I don't know how that's going to play out, um, but there has definitely been um, a revamp of, of how things are going to be um, given to humanity. Uh, so, yeah, again, it's all very exciting times. Uh, even Spirit, I'm sure 100% what's going on because um, this, is, this is a huge experiment going on on the planet at the moment um, of this awakening period that we're in. This is why so much support is coming on the planet now from all these different beings and planets and consciousness, you know, and everything we're, we're, I'm channeling here and talking about is ancient information. You know, it's nothing new. 
um, when we were more in our light bodies you know, thousands of years ago, and we've gone through those cycles many times, um, you know, this type of thing was, was, was a day-to-day -day occurrence. So again, it's just us awakening that which we understand and know in deep in ourselves. Um, and this is the, the beauty of it. It's not, we're not learning or, or meeting anyone or learning anything new. We are just unconditioning the conditioned human self. Um, and that is the, that's the beauty of it. We're already powerful, we're already aware, we already know what we need to do. You know, we are, we are there, we're living it inside. So we just need to project that outwardly now. Um, so these types of messages are definitely gonna assist us and, and help. All right, guys, I will be back. Actually, I'm gonna be on holiday, um, so I'll be back in a month. Um, I may get something out next week if I have time, uh, but we'll see. All right, all the best, take care.